Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to another comic haul. Um, I know I said that I would be, hopefully, on the computer next time, but... <clears throat> uh, I don't have it set up yet. I do have internet now, though, so that's helpful. So, um... Yeah, next time, hopefully, I'll have the computer set up. I wasn't even expecting to do a haul this quick, but I ended up getting a ton of books from a friend. Uh, and I mean, it's just a, a very big amount of books. I haven't even uh, counted, but it, it's probably at least 50 books there. Um, so yeah, I figured I'd better do a haul. Uh, most of these aren't bag and boarded. Because there's literally just so many books, I just can't have time at the moment to bag and board them all. Uh, we're going to start off with other stuff first, though. Uh, so, I had someone go to a comic shop in Gettysburg for me. And I gave them a list of things that, of characters that I wanted. So, this is what they came back with. We've got Amazing Spider-Man 388 believe this is the death of um, Peter Parker's clone parents. Uh, I think the story here was that the Jackal made clones of Peter Parker's parents. Or maybe it was the Chameleon even. I'm not sure, honestly. It's been a while. Uh, but something like that. So, uh, yeah, this is a cool book to get. I don't have this one. Got a lot of Amazing Spider-Man, though, here today. Uh, then we got some Batman. We've got Batman 449. Uh, I know I have another part of this storyline. I don't remember if it's part one or two. It could be even four. Not sure. Uh, don't believe this is a key. That is a nice cover, though. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, from the 1990, by the way. We got Detective Comics. We've got Detective Comics 613. Uh, once again, not a key, I believe. Then we've got uh, Detective Comics 589. Uh, also not a key to my knowledge. All right. And then finally from that, we have got Superman number 303. This is a key. Uh, don't remember what it is. It's the first appearance of some character before they become some villain, I believe. So, uh, yeah, I'm not familiar with it, though. Only knew it was the key until I looked it up. But, uh, yeah, it's cool. I don't have a lot of Superman in the collection. Alright, there's all of those. So we're gonna get to some newer comics and a couple back issues here and there, and then we'll get to the ton of books. Uh, yeah, so like I said, these aren't bagged and board because I just haven't had time to... Uh, we got Green Lantern Season 2, Issue 9. Uh, this cover's great. It's like the uh, 60s Green Lantern covers, so that's awesome. Uh, next up, we've got Flash 765. Um, continuing the Doctor Alchemy Saga. It's interesting. Uh, if I remember right, I think all the personalities or people who were previously Dr. Alchemy have, like, all combined into one. And they, like, switch back and forth between each other. So, yeah. Uh, also, in the last video, talking about this, I said that uh, Alchemy took away Flash's powers. He didn't, actually. He just, uh, made it so Flash couldn't use his ring. So, yeah. Um... This current Flash run's alright. I mean, it's hard to top the whole reverse Flash family thing, because that was pretty big, but... Whatever. Uh, we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue 11. This is the first in-continuity appearance of... Oh, no, I should have looked this up to remember their names. I think it's Raza and... Ta... It's, it starts with a T. I don't remember. Uh, they first previously appeared... In Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Secret of the Ooze comic adaptation, which I have, <laughs> I bought actually the same day. But, um, I think it's Raza and Ta... I don't remember. 
I should have looked it up. It's been a bit. A minute. Well, I think this is actually the cameo of that book. It isn't the first fool yet. And we got Batman 102. More Ghostmaker action. I mean, Batman just doesn't stop producing great stories. This one's awesome. I'm very excited to see who the identity of the Ghostmaker is. I'm sure... I'm pretty positive it's no one we've seen before but still it's cool to see more of batman's origin with the ghost maker and more clown hunter he's really become a huge character in this batman storyline so is harley uh we got miles morales spider-man number 20 this is a pretty cool issue uh you got all the ultimate green goblins there and you got captain america and spider-man and prowler and even uh, Miles Morales' father, Jefferson Davis, fighting all the goblins. So this is actually a pretty cool issue. And then my shop didn't get Champions issue 2 in. I know the second printing comes out this week of Champions number 1, so maybe they'll get Champions number 2 in. I was, I liked the first issue, and I was excited to read that. Uh, and as I said, here we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie 2, The Secret of the Ooze. This is the comic adaptation. From when Archie had the rights to the uh, comics. This was at that same time of the animated series too, I believe. Summer of 91. Yeah, this is their first appearance. Raza and Raza or something like that. I that That's making me mad, but... Yeah, I can't remember their names. Anyway. And then finally for the back issues for this particular haul... Um, we've got the Adam and Hawkman issue 39. This is where the title changes from the Adam to Adam and Hawkman. So this is where the team up series begins. Thought that was pretty cool. Alright, uh, next we've got from this past week Captain America issue 25. Uh, I've been thinking about picking up Cap for a while. Um, I did this week because I only picked up, like, three books or something, so I figured I'd pick up another. Uh, Alex Ross covers, he's done all the covers on this series so far. They're just amazing. I love Alex Ross. Hands down, top three favorite artists. Um, yeah, and then I read most of the story up to, like, issue 22, I think, on Marvel Unlimited. And I really enjoyed it, so I decided to pick up Captain America. I don't know if I'll add this to the pool list, I guess. Um, I haven't actually even read this issue yet. Uh, but the covers alone are great. And next we have Dark Knight's Death Metal issue 5. Oh. Uh, once again, I just haven't read this yet really either. Um... We're getting close to finishing this series up, though. I think it's like seven issues, I believe. Maybe six. So this might be like second to last. I'm not sure. I don't remember. And we also got Batman 103. Um, oh, yeah. So I guess Batman 102 is the first cover appearance of Ghostmaker. Or maybe it was first full. Yeah, I was thinking this was that that was the latest issue. This is the latest issue. Uh yeah. Not much to say about it, I guess. Uh it's great. <laughs> Alright, next we got Venom issue thirty. Um This is the final part of the Venom Beyond story arc. Interesting uh ending. Basically, once they defeat um, what's his name? Codex, which is the Dylan Brock of that universe. But basically, um, Eddie and Dylan, the Eddie's Dylan from the main universe, uh, have to stay there for a year until they can build, until Reed Richards can build another portal back home for them. Uh, I don't know how that ties into the King in Black. I mean, this directly leads into King in Black, but they've been gone a year, right? So... Does that mean they were gone? This is them coming back? Because the King of Black starts this coming month in December, right? So does that mean they were gone from last December until 
now and this story took place like before. I don't know. I'm confusing myself, but at the end it ties into King and Black directly because they get back to Earth and they're like, where are all the stars? So I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, but yeah, King and Black comes out, issue one of that series comes out in December, I think. It's at the end here. Yeah, December 2nd. So, uh, next week, I believe. Uh, then we got Walking Dead issue three. Uh, this is the first appearance of a ton of characters. Um, let me think. Carol, Dale, Sophie, um, oops. Carol, Dale, Sophie, uh, Andrea, her sister, I can't remember her sister's name, and then a couple characters I don't remember that I think were in the show, but I think they got killed off. I don't remember. It's been so long since I've watched the show and read the books. And then finally, from that, um, my shop had a call, like a short box full of graphic novels that were damaged and were like, 50 to 75 percent off which is awesome because they weren't really like damage is too bad uh so i ended up picking up the boys volume one uh the only thing that i can really see wrong with it is it has a crease here which you can't even tell so like i got this for ten dollars and it's normally 30 uh i did read the first issue on free comic book day when they reprinted it and i thought it was like super gory and i wasn't sure if i was really into it but, um, I mean, for $10, I'll give it a try. Now, a couple of years ago, I would have loved this. I just really don't like super gory things anymore. But I'll, I'll definitely give this a try. They also had some others, like, uh, they had Secret Wars, which also was also, like, 10 bucks, but they had, like, the Alex Ross cover of it. And they had Watchmen and some of the... I'm trying to remember what it's called, like, Epic Hero, I think it was called, Trade Paperbacks... I don't know, it was what they used to print before the Omnis, the, the paperback versions of the old series, and different volumes and all that. But yeah, this was cool to pick up. Uh, I haven't started reading on it yet. And then my shop's doing a bunch of sales this week, I believe, so... Uh, that'll be fun. Hopefully I can pick up some good stuff. Alright, let's get into the books my friend got me. So some of these are from a 50 cent store. Or not a fifty cent store, but just a, a, a second hand store, and they sell fifty cent comics. And I, I don't, I don't get up there often. It's like an hour and a half for me. And um, ended up, she ended up getting me a huge book, and she didn't know what it was. I think she was with her grandfather though, and he knew what it was. And she watches my videos, I think. So shout out to you. You know who you are. But um, this is a big book, um, especially for fifty cents. Marvel Superheroes Winter Special, Winter 91. This is the first appearance of Squirrel Girl. This is like a $100 book, I'm pretty sure. I mean, 50 cents, that's insane. Definitely my best... I mean, I didn't even find it, but my... I, I don't know what to call it, my best bargain I've ever got. Um... Yeah, it's pretty naughty. It's in really, really good shape, too. Definitely in uh, the nines range. So, that's awesome. Uh, it's the only one out of them I bagged and boarded. As soon as I saw it, I immediately bagged and boarded it. Um, that's It's just insane. I mean, thank you so much. Uh, there's another pretty big book in here, too. Well, not super big, but for me, I, it's one of my favorites. And then she also gave me a couple of her trade paperback she had of The Walking Dead. We got volume one, which I might have already read through volume one of this. How many issues does this collect? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's open it up here. See if it says. He's ruined in black and white. Okay, it doesn't say. Um, skip to the end here. Um, if I had to guess, I'd say it's the first, like, 
five issues, maybe? I'm not sure. I don't see where it says on here. Uh, but if I had to guess, it's the first five issues or so, maybe. Uh, judging by how thick it is and everything. Maybe more. And then also skips right ahead to volume 20. This is with uh, Negan. This is about where I stopped reading Walking Dead. So I'll be picking right back up where I uh, left off. And then along with that, uh, volume 21. So yeah, that's awesome. And then some of these she already had. I think someone had given her and then she gave them to me because she doesn't want them. So, um, we've got Amazing Spider-Man Annual 22. This is the first appearance of Speedball. Oh, she got a Daredevil appearance. This is a cool book. So, like I said, a lot of Amazing Spider-Man in here. Uh, this is, I think, like, the only Spectacular Spider-Man. This is Spectacular Spider-Man issue 116 with Sabretooth, so that's cool. Um, a lot of these are newsstands. I think this is, these were still, like, newsstands and stuff back then. Yeah, a lot of these are newsstands. I think they still were doing newsstands in the 80s. I'm, I'm not sure, honestly. Uh, yeah, a lot of these are in need of a press, though. They are wavy. I mean, there are a lot worse defects to have, though, so. And now we get into the ASM. We've got ASM 278. Um, part of that Hobgoblin story arc. Also got a date stamp there on March 3rd, 1980. 688? It's hard to see. Let me zoom in there for you. Looks like 86, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, this is the first appearance of Flash Thompson as the Hobgoblin, I think. I never knew he was the Hobgoblin. But uh, yeah, there was a bunch of people who were the Hobgoblin because uh, Roderick Kingsley brainwashed them and everything. All that jazz, you know. Oh, there's also a date stamp on this one, too. Um, looks like April 14th, 1986 as well, so... Yeah, they're both 75 centers, so that would be about that time. So that's cool. Uh, then we've got... Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 315. This is the first, uh, partial cover appearance of Venom. You see his head there. I do have this book, but, uh, I gladly would take a second one. I'll have to see if I have the newsstand or direct. I want to say I have the newsstand. Uh, this is a little yellowed, but like I said, I'm glad to have this book. The spine's a little curved in. Once again, nothing a press couldn't fix, I'm sure. But yeah, I, I'll definitely take a second copy of that. And then we got some Todd McFarlane covers in here, too, which is awesome. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 310. This is a Todd McFarlane cover. Uh, this one is an Atomic Farm cover. This is a uh, Mark Bagley one. I love Mark Bagley, too. This is ASM 373. More McFarlane. We've got ASM 319. <clears throat> With Rhino and Scorpion, and... I have no idea who that guy is. Let's say Backlash? I was going to say Whiplash. I thought it was Whiplash, but... Uh, I have no clue who he is. I'll have to look him up. Uh, more McFarlane. We've got ASM 312. Green Goblin and Hobgoblin. That's pretty cool. It's also part of that uh, Inferno storyline, which was uh, uh, brand-wide with Marvel. I hate doing this on a phone because my hand just shakes. Uh, and then I think this is the final McFarlane cover. ASM 313 with the Lizard. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't buy these a while back. Uh, I found a bunch of McFarlane covers at my shop a while back. All like $13, $17 or something. So, um, yeah, it was awesome that I didn't buy these. <laughs> Ended up getting them for basically for free. I did pay her for the books that she bought for me at the 50 cent place, but... Um... Web of Spider-Man 52, I believe this is the only Web of Spider-Man book in there. That's a cool cover. I've seen this one before. Kind of reminds me of that uh, animated episode with the chameleon from uh, Spider-Man the Animated Series. 
Uh, then we got a newer book. This is Spider-Man vs. Deadpool issue 39. Uh, I don't think this is a variant. I think this is the regular cover. Not a key to my knowledge. Uh, Spider-Man and Deadpool was a great series, though. <clears throat> ASM 283. Got Absorbing Man on there. This is when he, um, was wearing the black costume. Very cool. Extremely thrilled to get all these ASMs, though. I mean, these, I'm definitely, in the bigger picture, want to put together a full ASM run. At the moment, I'm trying to work on 1 through 100. That's not going too well at the moment. It's kind of put on hold. Because um, that's going to be the hardest to get first. So, But yeah, awesome to get these. And newsstands, too. Uh, ASM 290, this is when Peter Parker proposes to Mary Jane. I think for like the second time. Pretty sure she rejects him. <laughs> uh, maybe it was the first time. ASM 386. Is this a Bagley cover? It looks like it. Yeah, it's Mark Bagley. That's cool. I love Mark Bagley. Another one of my favorite Spider-Man artists. Him, Eric Larson, Todd McFarlane. Uh, for modern artists. Oh. Oh. Looks like that corner might be a little pushed out there. This is a uh, Eric Larson cover. We've got ASM 340. This might be the first appearance of the Femme Fatales. I think that's what they're called. Um, I'm not sure, though. And then this one also is in need of a press. You can see this cover's a little bent right here. Another great Punisher cover, though. Uh, ASM 285. Also got a date stamp on it. It's a little war. It's rubbed though. It looks like it says November 2nd, maybe, of 1985? I'm not sure. But yeah, I love Punisher covers with Spider-Man. They're great. Yeah, this one definitely needs a press or just maybe like sit it between books and hopefully it'll flatten it out. Uh, this is a good one. One of my favorite covers. Uh, ASM 374. Don't believe this is the key, though. Uh, we got ASM 279. This one's also a little bent here. Um, don't think this is the key. But it's a cool cover, I guess. Jack o' Lantern and Silver Sable. Jack o' Lantern's super underrated. I actually saw Jack o' Lantern in the recent Captain America series, so that was a surprise. This one is a little beat up, unfortunately. I do like this is one of my favorite uh, key books too in Spider Man. The first appearance of the Sin Sinister Syndicate. Uh, my shop does have a copy of this though, but uh, definitely a press would help. But it is a little dirty and everything, so definitely need to try and flatten these books out. I don't have a press, so I can't really. But uh, that's one of my favorite keys. Uh, that's all the ASM, I believe, so nice little chunk there between the upper 200s, uh, and to the upper 300s. Uh, next we have the Incredible Hulk. These are out of order. Let me put them back in order. Give me one second. Uh, there's, like, one key out of the Incredible Hulk books, I believe. Oh, actually, no, that's not true. There's two. One of them was one of the bigger ones that I said before. To me, it's a, a big key. It's It also is in need of a press. But, yeah. Sick book, though. Awesome book. Alright. Uh, Incredible Hulk 327. This was, like, the issue before Hulk goes gray again, I think. I don't know, honestly. This was, He had a bunch of different personalities around this time. Uh, then we got Incredible Hulk 328. See, there he is, gray. I know I keep saying they're newsstands, but I'm just... I think they were still doing newsstands back then, because I know that gets to a point in, like, the 90s where everything was basically newsstands, so it's not really special. But, uh, here we go. This is, this is the book. Incredible Hulk 330. Todd McFarlane's first work on Incredible Hulk. 
Um, this might have been his first work in Marvel. I'm not sure, honestly. For Marvel itself, I know he did work for the Marvel imprint uh, on the book Coyote. I think that was a Marvel imprint. But yeah, this is Todd McFarlane's first art on Incredible Hulk. Might be his first art on um, in Marvel, period. Does have a date stamp. Looks like January 5th of 87. So that's cool. A lot of date stamps on these as well. These probably all came from like the same shop. Because I was told that this place buys them in bulk at auctions. Uh, we got Hulk 353. 354. So yeah, sadly that was the only McFarlane cover, but still awesome. 355. I'm sad this one's beat up. This is such a sick cover with Man Thing. As much as a Man Thing is a rip of Swamp Thing, I still think he's a super cool character. I really wish this was a better condition. It's ripped here. The spine is just not really well held together, unfortunately. I I gotta find this cover. If you have this cover, let me know. Because this is such a sick cover. I'm sure I can find it in a dollar bin somewhere, but this is so such a sick cover. Hulk 409. Uh, unfamiliar with these characters. Says they're from Marvel UK, so... Interesting, I guess. Uh, we got Hulk 418 still in the poly bag. Well, at the bottom it's real, but... <laughs> uh, doesn't it have a card? Or There was all their comics in here, because it says three comics, so I don't know what else was in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a trading card in all these polybag ones. I don't know. But yeah, this is the marriage of Rick Jones and uh, Marlo someone. I don't know. Also, the first appearance of Talos, the Skrull. Um, he was in Spider-Man Far From Home. He might have been in Captain Marvel. I don't know. Probably. But he was uh, who was portraying Nick Fury because Nick Fury was on vacation. So he pretended to be Nick Fury throughout the movie. But he's a villain in here. And then here's issue 419. Pretty sure he is a villain, at least. Uh, I guess that'd be his first cover appearance. Yeah. So this is to the point where their newsstands are all just the same. This is the direct. So this is this is 90s, I know that. I'm pretty sure. Let me look at the... What's it called? The Indiciary or something? Yeah, this is July of 94. All right, got a good stack of books left and my throat is starting to get dry here, so I'm gonna try to get through these quickly. Uh, next up we got Thor, nice little run of Thor. Uh, no keys to my knowledge, this is Thor 404. 405 with Annihilus, that's cool. Uh, 457. Oops, put these down. 457. So some nice little runs in here. Not like all the same uh, issue, or I mean not all issue after issue. But um, then we've got four, Thor 464. This is an Infinity Crusade crossover. Along with 465 with a Super Scroll, that's cool. So yeah, a little run of Thor there. Uh, then we got two Simpsons books here. Radioactive Man issue 88, very cool. And then we also have Itchy and Scratchy comics number two. Cool stuff. Uh, next, we just got like a few random books. I don't think there's any more runs. I might be wrong though. No. Uh, we got Punisher issue 18. This is from the uh, technically volume two. This was the uh, monthly series, not the limited series. Uh, always love Punisher though. Then we've got Solo Avengers. Starring Hawkeye, issue 15. With Hawkeye, Black Widow, Awesome Android, Wasp. Or atta Awesome Attackoids, apparently. They had three of these. Um, I just 
decided to get this one. When she sent me pictures of them, I don't think any, all three of them were keys. They could have been, I don't know. There's another one with Moon Dragon. I figured why not, Black Widow. Uh, Green Lantern Annual number seven from the 90s series. Kyle Rayner. It looks like zombie, uh, uh, Kilowog and, is that Tomar Ree? I'm not sure. Yeah, a little bit there. So that's cool. Love Green Lantern, especially Kyle Rayner. He might be my favorite Green Lantern. He's my favorite Lantern overall. Uh, we got Showcase 94, Issue 11. This is with Man Bat. Thought this was cool. Uh, they didn't have any Avengers except for one. Avengers 367 with Vision. Cool, though. Uh, Pit number six. Uh, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be Savage Dragon or not, but he looks uh, ripped if it is. Uh, then a couple of random X books. There's just so many X Men titles from back in the day. Professor Xavier and the X Men. I've never even heard of this one. This is issue two, I think. They didn't even. This is the point where they didn't even number them. Probably because there's so many titles. They just. X Men. Lurie in. Yeah, this is issue two. And you wonder why those 90s X Men books aren't worth much. Most of them, at least. And then X Men 2099, number four. These 2099 books aren't worth anything. <laughs> I think pretty much all of them you can find the dollar bin except for Spider-Man 2099. Um, I don't know what the first appearance of Venom 2099 is. I don't think that's a dollar book though because Venom 2099 is pretty popular. And then I really wish this was in better condition because this is a key I've been looking for. Captain America 321, the first appearance of Ultimatum? Is that what they're called? And I think it's the first appearance of Flag Smasher 2 or something. Or first cameo. I don't know, but they're going to be in the Falcon and Winter Soldier show, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I really wish this was in better condition. But, that's alright. And then these next ones are some books her grandfather actually had. So we've got Archie. Apparently he has more, like Silver Age books. I'd be interested to see that. Silver Age Archie's too, but um... Yeah, these aren't the greatest, like this spine. I don't even know if I can stand it up. This is Archie 407. It won't even stand up. It's got the tag on there too, which if you pull off, it's gonna make a nasty mark. Then you got Jughead, issue 43. Yeah, they barely stand up. Uh, Sergeant Rock, issue 419. Nice Joe Kubert cover. Cubert, Cubert, however it is. Uh, Strange Tales, Volume 2, Issue 9, with Cloak and Dagger and Doctor Strange. That's cool. Uh, then these were a couple books that were damaged. This one wasn't. Uh, this one was just random. This is uh, Moon Girl and Double Dinosaur, Issue 35, which with looks like The Wrecking Crew. Uh, I was surprised to see how many keys there are in this series. This isn't one, but there's a ton. And I know Devil Dinosaur and Moon Girl were ruined for a uh, Disney Plus animated series a while back. I haven't heard much about that anymore, but um, yeah, there's always a good possibility of that. It would be more children, child-oriented, though, because this series was child-oriented, I believe. Uh, then we got another ASM. I lied. This one was pretty beat up, though. Uh, just... I don't know what happened there. <laughs> 284. And then this is a new one. This was really beat up. Uh, this is part of the Absolute Carnage. This is ASM 31 from the new series. And it's just really beat. I don't know what happened to it. It's not that old. I mean, let's look at the... Um, December. This is almost a year old. And it's just... That's crazy that Absolute Carnage was a year ago now, though. That feels like just yesterday. But, um, I believe that's everything. So, yeah, uh, kind of did go through it fast at the end. My throat is getting super dry from all this talking. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed that bigger haul. This was almost, this was over 30 minutes, so, um, 
yeah, this is really awesome stuff. Thank you again. You know who you are. You watch my videos, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, so if you enjoy this, please like and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Peace.